What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Fire Emblem, as it looks like a brand new Fire Emblem game could have actually been potentially leaked for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I haven't talked much about Fire Emblem on this channel, but I do enjoy the games. Blazing Blade is actually one of my favorite video games of all time, so to see that a brand new Fire Emblem game could potentially be just around the corner, and that this game may have actually been done for quite some time, it is pretty exciting stuff, and I do want to talk about it. So all of this information is coming from a leaker known as Emily Rogers, and maybe some of you guys know who this person is. If you were around during the Nintendo NX hype days, when we didn't even know what the Nintendo Switch was, and we were still wondering what the next Nintendo system was going to be like, Emily Rogers was really one of the big ones who was giving a lot of the information about Nintendo's next system, and she basically got a ton of information about the Switch correct, like months before the Switch was even revealed. She talked about how it was going to have like detachable controllers, and how there was going to be like a 6.2 inch screen on Wanted, and how it was going to be 720p and all of that so she got a lot of that stuff correct and she definitely does have inside sources. Now like every other leaker she's also had her moments of saying stuff that unfortunately didn't end up happening but everything that Emily Rogers does say is something that she's saying based off of what she's heard or she believes it's going to happen because of inside sources. She never just comes up with something random out of thin air because that's what she wants to. She does have her reasons to believe why something will happen. And so recently, Emily Rogers made a pretty interesting post talking about the next Fire Emblem game, and since then, we've actually got more information about potentially what this game could even look like, with some screenshots and images that we don't know for sure if they're real or not, but we can talk about those as well. And so this is all just kind of really cool because, of course, we do have rumors now that a Nintendo Direct is going to be coming on June 29th, so maybe this could very well be a game that we're going to be seeing. So looking at Emily's post, it says here, Here is what I can share about the new Fire Emblem game. The upcoming Fire Emblem game is a new game, not a remake, a brand new story. It's a collaboration between Intelligent Systems, Koei Tecmo, and Gust, which is a division of Koei Tecmo Holdings. Gust heavily assisted with the visuals and graphics. Graphics are an improvement over three houses. Originally, this game was intended as an anniversary game to celebrate Fire Emblem's 30th anniversary. The game has been finished for over a year. The main character, the main lord, has strange red and blue hair. His mother is a dragon. The new emblems gimmick allows players to summon Fire Emblem characters from the past for your squad. Now this actually sounds really cool, so of course the first thing is that this is an entire new Fire Emblem game, and I feel like everybody was kind of just believing with all the rumors recently that the next Fire Emblem game was most likely going to be a remake, I think a remake of Fire Emblem 4 was pretty much the one that was kind of rumored for a while now, so the fact that the next Fire Emblem game could actually just be a whole new Fire Emblem game is actually really really exciting, and I guess it kind of does make sense, I mean if we take a look at the timeline here, Fire Emblem 3 Houses was basically 3 years ago at the time, and and going off of this, I do feel like that Fire Emblem Warriors is probably going to be the only Fire Emblem game like this year with like Three Hopes, which is going to be coming out in a week or so. So I don't think they're going to have like an entire mainline Fire Emblem game this year also. So most likely it'll probably be next year in 2023. So by that time, it will be four years since Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I guess getting a brand new Fire Emblem game would be pretty nice and it would make a lot of sense. So that's actually really, really exciting. It also said the Gust Division from Koei Tecmo helped a lot with the visuals and graphics, and that also makes me really excited because Fire Emblem Three Houses was a really good game, but there were definitely some graphical issues with that and the game just didn't look the best in certain parts. And Gust is responsible for the Atelier games, and the Ryza games look really really nice even on the Nintendo Switch, so it does make me have some hope that this next Fire Emblem game is gonna look pretty nice. Now she also talked about how the protagonist has strange red and blue hair, and we even might have potential images about what this protagonist could look like, so we'll take a look at those in a sec. And then she also said here that the protagonist's mother is a dragon. Of course, if you played any Fire Emblem game, this isn't really surprising at all, so I think we're all kind of used to that. But of course, the most exciting thing out of this entire leak is about this new emblems gimmick, which looks like it's going to be able to let you bring characters from past Fire Emblem games into this game and be able to use them. And that actually makes me really, really excited. Like, I think there's so much potential and a lot of fun to be had if you can actually do this. And that would be so cool if, like, I know there's so many Fire Emblem characters, so there's no way that they'd be able to bring, like, every single character. But if they can bring, like, a lot of fan favorites from each game, like, of course, from Blazing Blade and my favorite Fire Emblem characters, of course, 
just Lynn, if they can bring Lynn, if they can bring Roy and Ike and Robin, Camilla, Tiki, like a lot of these fan favorite characters that people love so much, I think that would be so cool to see them all inside of this one game. And I think Awakening was kind of similar to this where like you could get like a lot of fan favorite characters, but I don't think it was like a part of the main game. It was like DLC, I'm pretty sure. So it would be really, really cool if you could actually do this in terms of the main game and just bringing fan favorite characters from all the past Fire Emblem games, it would just be a lot of fun. And that definitely does make a lot of sense because of how she said that this game was going to be originally for Fire Emblem's 30th anniversary. Of course, a big fan service game like this where you bring fan favorite characters would be the perfect celebration game. So essentially adding a lot more to the credibility in my opinion. And I do think that this could happen. Now, ever since Emily Rogers mentioned this new Fire Emblem game, there was somebody on Reddit who came through and just said like, here's some images about this game and I can confirm that this is in fact a brand new Fire Emblem game and it has been completed for quite some time now. I'm not sure what the delay has been in announcing it. Interestingly, some aspects of it seem to be reused from the cancel Wii Fire Emblem game. Additionally, the rumors of a Fire Emblem 4 remake are real as well. Gust has helped a lot with the development. If you aren't familiar with their work, you should take a look at the Atelier games. There are many new characters in this game and I believe people are overreacting a bit about the summoning with thinking that this is a full-blown Fire Emblem hero style game. Other people with insider information have been mentioning the blue and red haired protagonist for a while now and waiting for the direct reveal. I've decided to finally just show a bit and you can see right here I can't do a full AMA or anything but I wanted to share a bit since there were so many doubts about yesterday's leak. And so taking a look here, these very well could be images from the next Fire Emblem game. And I think the first thing that we can notice right away is that the graphics are not really looking all that good. And I think that this is a very early screenshot. Like it looks like all of these pictures are very early into development. Even the backgrounds in a lot of these are just very basic with like silhouettes and shadows. So I'm pretty sure that this game was being developed in like 2019 or 2020 also if it's been done for over a year. So they've probably been working on it and this is probably a very early screenshot. But we can see here images of like this protagonist with this aqua fresh looking hair i mean we can see here some of these like royalty type of characters i mean it looks like we can also see some class changing here too so we also have that and then also like this list of a couple of characters here so we do have a couple of images here so to kind of fake this especially after emily rogers leak like to come up with something like this out of nowhere in like a couple days would be really hard to do so i do think that it is possible that maybe this could be real but of course we have seen the links that people go to making fake stuff stuff like this maybe this could just be like some game where you can create your own characters and it's like some Chinese knockoff game or something like that so it's very possible that these could be fake also but I do think that regardless of if these images are real or not I do think that the possibility of the new Fire Emblem game is still going to be real because it is coming from Emily Rogers. Now Emily actually followed up with those images also where she made a tweet saying I'm just as surprised as the rest of you. I've never seen those Fire Emblem screenshots before so I couldn't tell you if they're real or fake. I'm leaning towards real. They look like they may have been leaked from Chinese localization. So she's thinking that maybe they could be real but she doesn't know for sure. Either way I do think that this game probably does exist and we could be seeing it very soon maybe even in the next Nintendo Direct but it'll all just be pretty exciting because in the end it has been a little while since the next Fire Emblem game in terms of mainline games so hopefully we do get it very soon. But yeah, there you go guys. That is all the information that we have about this new Fire Emblem game from Emily Rogers. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited for this new Fire Emblem game? What do you guys think about this? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Nintendo content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.